limit. And it says the limit as x approaches 2 of 2x plus 7 over x cubed plus 4x squared minus 7. Okay, a limit means to plug in a number really, 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 really close to 2. Now, if you want something more technical than that, I can show you that in the analysis videos. But right now, for all for the intents and purposes we're going to use for this video, uh, we need to plug in a number really, 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 really close to 2. So here's a number line. And of course, the number that's as close as you possibly can get to 2 would be the number 2. So with a limit, as long as you can, as long as you're not undefined or indeterminate, you may plug in the number that you're actually limiting towards. So in order to evaluate this particular limit, I'm just going to calculate 2 times 2 plus 7 over 2 cubed plus 4 times 2 squared minus 7. So in other words, I'm replacing x for 2 because 2 is pretty close to 2. Okay, in the numerator, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 7 is 11. So in the numerator, we get an 11. In the bottom, let's do some extra simplification. 2 cubed is 8. 2 squared is 4, times 4 is 16, minus 7. 8 plus 16 is 24, and 24 minus 7 is 17. So in the denominator, it looks like we're getting a 17. So the answer to this one is just 11 over 17. Why don't you pause the video and see if you can do this problem on your own. The limit as x approaches negative 2 of x squared minus 3x plus 9 over the quantity x minus 4. Okay, assuming you paused it and gave it a shot, what's the closest you could ever get to negative 2 would be exactly negative 2. So in the numerator, we're going to have a negative 2 squared minus 3 times negative 2 plus 9. And in the bottom, we'll have a negative 2 minus 4. Okay, in the denominator, let's do that one first. It's a little bit simpler. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6, so I'm seeing a negative 6 in the bottom, and then in the top we have negative 2 squared, which is 4, minus 3 times negative 2, which is negative 6, plus 9. So let's see, 4 minus negative 6 would be 4 plus 6, which is 10. Add 9 more would be 19. So we're getting a 19 in the numerator. So my final answer to this would be negative 19 over 6, negative 19 sixths.